contractor template for AutoCAD comes with everything you need to start doing AutoCAD LT drafting as a framing or general contractor. There are over 200 layers encompassing a basement, wall systems for two floors, floor joist and beam layers for first and second floors, roof structures including trusses, conventional rafters, fascia, architectural tails, roof beams, etc. Most items have basic and three elevation layers. There is a complete set of hold down blocks and assembly drawings with a plan view and side view block for most hold downs manufactured by Simpson Strong Time. The drawings they supply as part of their catalog have errors, are not blocks and do not conform to their specifications in the 2009 catalog. All corrections have been made and appropriately named blocks have been created with a cross indicating the center line of the foundation bolt for easy measurements for hold down layouts. Included are four what I call toolboxes. Historically, I have populated these with blocks and or groups that will be used in the current drawing. The blocks come from other drawings that are usually accessed in Design Center. Included with a download of this file are two other files, verticaldetail.dwg and miscellaneous.dwg. Vertical Detail has all the blocks I normally use for detail layout operations. Miscellaneous has other blocks I use for drafting. Two layout sticks to facilitate drafting are included. The first is a 19.2 inch stick. and the second is a 16 and 24 inch layout stick. There are several pre-formatted printing templates with instructions on how to use them. Included also are three full sheet size templates with instructions on how to scale them. There are several textiles available in the template. These should provide for most of your needs. There are several dimension styles that should meet most of your needs. On the right of this box is a demonstration of how dimensions were copied from the left and then the font was changed giving the appearance of another dimension style. A sample joist area that illustrates some of the power of AutoCAD LT to do complicated joist cutting drawings, 
that save money in labor and materials. Over the years I have investigated how to do radius stair curb walls. The graphic method is what I found works fairly close. The formula was something I was introduced to by a stair cutter and was found at Cornell University's math department. This is a sample drawing that I used to build an involved driveway trellis and will provide at least some ideas on how to draw sections to communicate with your field. An example of multiple layer wall elevation drawing with instructions on how to view the various layers. There are two methods of drawing basket handle arches that produce slightly different results. This area illustrates the use of the Layer States Manager. Changing the layer states changes what is visible not only inside the rectangle but outside as well. This becomes a good teaching aid for the use of the layer states manager. As I mentioned earlier, there are two files included with a template file download. This is a peek inside the vertical detail drawing. Lastly, a peek inside the miscellaneous drawing file included with the template file download. 